Hello, welcome to a video in which I will show you the best of the best of 2021. I will show you my beauty favorites and that includes makeup, skincare, hair care and body care. I've got really affordable examples as well as more high end. I will tell you why these products perform extraordinarily well. I will also let you know if I've got any beautiful special memories attached to them and why they're so important to me. My name is Irina and I'm the owner of the Block Lipstick Cafe and if you enjoy videos about cosmetics, hair care and and anything in between about beauty then please make sure you're subscribing to my channel and that you ring the notification bell so that you're notified about future content. I will start with my skincare favorites. This is I think the most interesting one because I used to have so many skincare favorites. They were costing a fortune. I just drew a line and that's not to say that I'm not using very expensive skincare products but I also wanted to introduce essentials in my routine that are not that expensive. In 2021 I really tried to cut back on essential oils and fragrance in my skincare. Now they're present in almost everything, sometimes even in makeup, so it's really hard to do that, but I did try to look for new items that were free of potential allergens, you know, which are usually the fragrant components of essential oils, and I also tried to cut back on fragrance. So interestingly enough, when looking for new essential skincare, I realized that it's mostly the affordable brands that offer options without the allergens and fragrance. So the first example is the Simple Hydrating Cleansing Oil and this has been my absolute favorite this year. I've already changed quite a couple of bottles. So the story behind this is that it's just a few pounds and that I was looking for a cleansing oil that would be really emollient on my skin, that wouldn't be stripping, that doesn't contain allergens, fragrance, you know, so many oil cleansing cleansers on the market are absolutely filled with citrus oils and potential allergens like linalool, lemonin, benzyl alcohol and I just wanted to get rid of that. <laughs> At least to have an option in my skincare collection that did not contain that. I always bought it on sale. I always got it one plus one free so I must have spent on the bottle maybe two or three pounds and this is just a really simple and effective formula. So the first ingredient on this product is Vitis vinifera seed oil. So this is really emollient and it also has antioxidants and it also has sunflower oil which again you know these will really help to break that makeup down. It contains retinol palmitate which is a derivative of vitamin A. It's part of the retinoid family. It's really really weak so I'm not sure this is doing anything especially because it's a wash off product and the way I love to use this is as my double cleanse as well. So I first use it on my dry skin when I remove my makeup and I really massage it into the skin to break all that makeup down and then I rinse that off and then on my wet skin I add a second and sometimes even a third cleanse with this oil. It is getting tiny tiny bit foamy but this doesn't really foam that much which is great for my very dry skin and this removes makeup like a dream and you know I love it that I'm not conscious about using a lot to remove my makeup. I can literally slather my face in it, make sure that I use it twice, three times, four times if I've been using a lot of heavy makeup and I'm not feeling like I'm spending a fortune so absolute favorite beautiful product the next skincare favorite is another really really affordable product this is the inky list pha toner this costs just a couple of quids again and you get 150 milliliters in this so definitely a generous size pha is polyhydroxy acid and the story behind this is the same as with the cleansing oil in terms that i just wanted something free of allergens free of fragrance and i also kind of needed something a tiny bit gentler on my skin in terms of exfoliation. My skin is really dry and it's also really sensitive. I've got rosacea and unfortunately I get quite a bit of um, dermatitis from face coverings. So I noticed that my usual AHA, BHA toners and exfoliants were just a bit too harsh for my skin. So I decided to try PHA which is supposed to be a tiny bit gentler and more suitable for sensitive skin but it should still have the exfoliant properties. Now this still irritated me a little bit so I had to use it pretty sparingly but it's a really beautiful product so I am really enjoying it so far. I've been using it for a few months now but as I said 
sparingly, <laughs> and that's the key. So the PHA contains is gluconolactone, <laughs> which is a gently exfoliant. It's supposed to lift dead skin cells over the surface of your skin, and long term it should provide anti-aging benefits, and it's also an antioxidant. Lovely product. I really enjoy it. And besides the PHA, this also has niacinamide, which is really a nice ingredient with quite a bit of research backed up, so it's not one of those bogus ones, and it's a great antioxidant. And it also has aloe vera, which is an anti-inflammatory ingredient, so really lovely product. I cannot believe this is so affordable, and I've been really enjoying it so far, so skincare favorite. <laughs> Next we have another really affordable item from Inculist again and this is their retinol cream. So retinol is again a derivative of vitamin A, part of the retinoid family and it's one of the very few ingredients that are really backed up by science in terms that it's been actually proven that it's anti-aging and it has solid benefits to the skin. Retinol is not such a strong form of vitamin A, such as, you know, tretinoin, which is prescription-based, but I, I'm not even sure my skin could take that, so I discovered that the retinol and the inculist cream is not the weakest, but not the strongest either, so it's sort of in between, which sounded great for my skin. I also really like to, to use retinol for my acne prone skin and to just kind of help the cellular turnover, formerly called keratinization. <laughs> So it can help with acne as well. I really see an improvement with this. So every time I get a breakout, I just put this in the evening and next day I have much nicer skin. I only use this sparingly again because I do feel it's stinging my skin a little bit even though I put a moisturizer under it. But this is a really lovely product. And you know, the reason why I absolutely love this, again, it's free of fragrance, free of allergen, and it contains a lot of emollients in the formulas, which is something that I would feel like my skin really needs. So even though it's an active that can irritate skin, because it's so emollient, it kind of counteracts the possible irritation from retinol. This should also make the skin look firmer and smoother. And as I said, I've been really enjoying this product. I did notice a difference on my skin, so I love it. And now the only skincare favorite that's a high-end one and it's pretty expensive. The JLo Beauty That Blockbuster in a Wonder Cream. And this kind of goes against everything I've talked in this video in terms that this has fragrance, it doesn't have any potential allergens but it does have fragrance which is the only thing I don't like about this cream but I'll tell you why <laughs> it's one of my skincare favorites. My skin is really dry and it's constantly attacked by the Scottish weather which can be really rough and really windy so this one is really emollient and oily on the face and I feel like it really protects the skin from environmental factors. This has been a savior for me early spring now that we're in winter, like autumn, you know. I'll show you the inside. So I've used quite a bit of it. I would have probably finished it by now except that it was so expensive. I don't want it to end and I also don't think you can find this in the UK anymore. I've been sitting on a full review of this cream on my blog with a really thorough ingredient analysis for a really long time now. I think we're going close to a year. Keep your eyes open for that. If you're into JLo Beauty and what you want to know more about that, then, you know, make sure you subscribe and you follow me on my socials so you see when I post that article on my blog. Meanwhile, I do have a few articles that are really, really thorough about the JLo Beauty Serum, the JLo Beauty Sunscreen, the JLo Beauty Hydrating Mask. So make sure you check that those ones out. They're on my blog. I will put the links in the description down below of the video if you want to read it. So this cream has squalane, which is an effective emollient and natural antioxidant. It also has shea butter, which again is nourishing and it's an emollient. It has soybean, it has yeast extract. It can make your skin look healthier. It's a source of beta-glucan, which is a good antioxidant. It also contains several olive oil derivatives, such as the fatty acid, acids and it has the antioxidants that olive oil contains and olive oil will form that occlusive film on your skin which will keep help to keep the moisture in your skin and it will also create that layer of protection from as I said like rough weather for example. I really really like this cream it's been my guilty pleasure <laughs> the whole year because it is quite fragrant but I really love the formula and I really hope that JLo Beauty will just take the fragrance out of 
everything they have because I mean so many of their items are fragrance free so I really don't understand why they made this cream fragranced but other than that it's a really beautiful product and I've been loving it I love the packaging so much I hope it's not too reflective in the camera I love to seeing sat on my desk this has been a gift that I've received so it's really special to me I've been loved to use it I've really liked JLo I think it's a so-and-so because it's from JLo but also because I love how it feels on my skin I just just makes me happy to see it sitting on my makeup desk and I just it's one of my favorite things in the evening to kind of massage it's my skin and just like really nourish it and uh, protect my skin really beautiful product now we are moving into the makeup section which i think is the longest by far and i think this section also had a shift in 2021 i used to have so many favorites from the drugstore really affordable options but i feel like most of my favorites this year are within the high-end category i do have a few um, products that are really really affordable but i definitely saw a change from year to year and i feel like in 2021 absolutely my makeup collection is starting to have a lot more high-end examples. So the first makeup favorite I have to show you is actually a really affordable one and this is the Real Techniques Mini Expert Face Brush and the reason I bought this it's because I really wanted something short, something lightweight, something that can multitask so that I can apply multiple products with it, you know from foundation, concealer, powder, cream contour, just kind of have it when I travel and be able to blend everything so I don't need to carry so many items with me. This has been like a dream. This is so soft. It blends everything so smoothly and beautifully. It really does not irritate my skin because some brushes can be just tiny tiny bit rough on my skin and then it just like aggravates the rosacea but this one is just beautiful and I find myself using it all the time even when I'm home even though I don't need to travel so I don't need something this lightweight and short I just find myself using it all the time really beautiful product I really recommend it if you just need something lightweight in your bag for touch-ups or for when you travel or if you just want a nice brush that kind of multitasks with several textures and products really happy with this I love it the next item is the bourgeois healthy mix serum foundation and this has been a favorite for years and speaking of years I do have a video talking about my 2020 beauty favorites which will pop up in the video just now and some of the items that were are still my favorites in 2021 are in that video and I'm not going to repeat myself too much I might mention one or two but if I already spoke about them I'm not going to go through them again in this video so make sure you watch that one as well after this video really beautiful foundation it looks just like skin it blends like a dream it sits on the skin so beautifully throughout the day it doesn't separate doesn't budge it's just such a beautiful beautiful product the only thing i don't really like about it is that it has fragrance and i do hope they will take that out of it eventually i don't know what to say i mean this is not even in the uk anymore thankfully i still find it on amazon <laughs> really beautiful product uh, the coverage is medium light to medium I, I mostly use foundation for day to day basis so i don't need something with a super high coverage so really beautiful products just favorite i mean i've got so many videos in which i apply this foundation and talk about it so i will pop a few in this video but just make sure that you know you have a look on my channel really beautiful product and so affordable so one of the most important and kind of the time when everything changed for me was when i purchased my first lisa eldridge makeup products and that was when she released her face items the highlighter and the blush and I ordered them that was absolutely stunning for me I mean the innovation that the products have the quality the way they behave on the skin the way they wear that was a complete next level for me and it changed my outlook on makeup items because of that, I'm afraid I've got quite a few Lisa Eldridge <laughs> items coming up uh, as my 2021 beauty favorites, but they're just 
beautiful. This is the highlighter, the Elevated Glow Highlighter and Crystal Nebula. I did film a video in which I do the first impressions of the highlighter, the blush and the lip gloss, which will pop up in the video just now. So if you want a detailed view and application of this product, you can see it in that video. The main reason why this has been a favourite is that the packaging is just stunning. It comes from Lisa, which I'm sure if you've watched my other videos, you know that I'm a huge, huge fan and I admire her so much. I've never been a fan of liquid highlighters because they always kind of sit on top of your makeup. And although it's not a powder, it looks like a powder, but this one looks like skin. This just gives you the most beautifully looking skin. Absolutely gorgeous. It blends so quickly. This can be subtle, this can be really strong, can be used under the foundation, can be used on top of the foundation. Such a versatile, beautiful product. It's expensive and it only comes in 13 milliliters, but to be honest, I've been using this almost every single time I've been doing my makeup, which is quite a lot, and I'm not even like going through it yet. So I hope this will last me for a while. Really gorgeous product. And then to go hand in hand with that, I've got the Enlivening Blush from Lisa Eldridge in the shade Mountain Walk. The reason why this is a 2021 beauty favorite for me, it's that this looks like skin. This doesn't look like makeup at all on your skin. It just looks like you're blushing from within. I'm wearing it just now, just to kind of give you an example, although I'm not sure the camera picks up such a subtle tone because I really didn't apply a lot because I knew <laughs> Mountain Walk wouldn't really go with my lips and the rest of my makeup. I just wanted to apply it for the purpose of this video. I know my makeup is not extremely well balanced in this video, but I just wanted to use most of the items I'm talking about in this video, but this blends so easily. You only need the tiniest amount of product. It just looks like you've been on a walk, really honestly. Like I've had people making comments like that when I'm wearing this blush. It's like, oh wow, you look you look so fresh. Like have you been on a walk or something? And uh, yeah, it's called mountain walk, so spot on. <laughs> but when I use this blush, you know, I don't usually wear it with so much makeup. I just like to use it when I have a really, really subtle makeup and I just look a bit tired. I just need something to lift my face up, make me look more lively, uh, make me look a bit more awake, and radiant. So beautiful, absolutely stunningly beautiful product. I really recommend you try this when they go back in stock on the Lisa Eldridge website. The next makeup favorite for 2021 is an item that I've mentioned before, so I'm really going to mention it just in passing. This is the Hourglass Ambient powder and diffused light, an absolutely beautiful setting powder for your makeup if you've got dry skin. If you want something to help the makeup not settle in your fine lines, but something that's not mattifying because I've got really dry skin, this is an absolutely beautiful product. I've got video in which I use the hourglass powders or my entire face, including the eyes. You can watch that. It should pop up just now. I've mentioned this in my 2020 beauty favorites as well, so I'm just going to quickly, quickly <laughs> move on. It's a very expensive product, but for me, this is totally worth it. It's just such a beautifully incredible powder. If you do know a dupe for it that's more affordable, please let me know in the comments down below because it does feel a tiny bit awkward to tell people, oh yeah, <laughs> that powder is just absolutely gorgeous. It's 50 quid but it's gorgeous. <laughs> they do have a mini. They do have a mini that I believe it's 22 pounds. And I mean, you can kind of check it out if they, if they ever have it on sale. I know that lots of websites at the moment have sales and whatnot. So you could try the mini to be fair. The full size one, I mean, it's gorgeous to have, but I'm never going to go through it. So I think the mini is, um, is an option. The next beauty favorite for 2021 is this absolutely gorgeous hourglass scattered light glitter eyeshadow in the shade smoke and this is the most beautiful eyeshadow I've ever had. The finish of this is just so sophisticated and different. It has a really high shine finish with the most delicate and sophisticated glitter. Love love glitter but so many items with glitter just make you look a bit they don't look that polished and they don't give you an elegant look. Well, this one does. It's such a beautiful eyeshadow. I love to apply it just with my fingers on my entire eyelid. So often throughout the year, I just apply this product alone on my eyelid 
back, back, back with my fingertips, put some mascara on and that was me out of the door. Even if you only do that, this gives you such an incredibly beautiful, 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 polished, sophisticated look. Gorgeous product, again, pretty expensive. So if you want to experience something similar, not quite as good as this, but similar, I do recommend an absolutely beautiful eyeshadow in my 2020 beauty favorites in the video. So if you want to check the description down below and watch that video to see that eyeshadow, because I think that one is only like five pounds, so you can have the option to try something similar to this. Absolutely beautiful product. Another item from Lisa Elridge is her new makeup brushes and this one is the eyeshadow brush and it's just so beautiful the presentation the feel the softness of the brush this is just incredible and i love to use this to blend the eyeshadow on the crease i've got slightly hooded eyelids so it's pretty tough for me to blend eyeshadow just here and i love this brush so much it just blends like a dream i can use really affordable eyeshadow with this even eyeshadow that it's not necessarily blending that well. This brush will save that eyeshadow. I can still use it. It's just so beautiful and spread out and blended on your eyelids. This is magic. I do have a full video about this eye brush and I will pop up just now. So if you want to see my full review, a full application, a full eye look done just with this brush, then watch that video. Pretty expensive item, but absolutely so beautiful. And I mean, I purchased this at the Lisa Eldridge pop-up in London, which was the best experience this year and I'm just so incredibly glad that I managed to go. I feel so lucky and grateful I met Lisa in person. I mean, that's pretty incredible. It was such a beautiful experience, beautiful moment. You know, besides this product being so incredibly beautiful and extraordinarily, the quality of this is just out of this world, but it also has a very beautiful, special memory attached to it, so absolutely love this. Okay, we still have a few mentions of Lisa Eldridge. So this is her Enhance and Define lip pencil in shade Fawn. And I do apologize, I forgot to sharpen this before filming. Um, <clears throat> but it's a very creamy lip liner. This has become one of my favorite techniques in my makeup routine to overline my lips so that they look fuller. I've never really used lip liners before. I mean, very, very rarely, but I definitely don't include them in my everyday routine. But ever since I got this lip pencil, I've been doing this every single day. I've been overlining my lips every day. That's what I mean. And I just love it. I don't know why I didn't do this before. It just gives you an oof to your lips and they just look so much fuller and symmetrical and beautiful. Love this. And the shade goes well with a variety of lipsticks, not just the Lisa Eldridge one. However, however, I do have the matching lipstick to this, which of course had to be included in this video because it's another 2021 favorite True Velvet lip color and fawn. Beautiful lipstick. It does look a bit sad because unfortunately I dropped this on the floor while it rolled off the table, which broke my heart. But thankfully the bullet didn't break. <laughs> it's just a beautifully soft detail of velvet on it. Kind of got smudged a little bit, but this is such a beautiful shade. I'm wearing it just now. And I was a tiny bit scared because it's a um, 90s in inspired shade. And although I absolutely love smoked caramel shades inspired by the 90s, they sometimes make my teeth yellow. I mean, not sometimes, all the time. <laughs> so I was a bit nervous, but I feel like this lipstick is not overemphasizing, mm, I don't know, yellow teeth or kind of makes them look pretty good. So I love this. It has a magnet. <laughs> nice and sweet. Love the shade. I love to wear this. It just gives me such a chic, sophisticated look. Like even when I don't really wear any eye makeup or I just have a really simple outfit, if I wear fawn, boom, chic, retro. Love it. Love it. It just gives you that gorgeous hint. You know, when you kind of look at someone just like, hmm, they look nice. 
This is what this lipstick does to me. At least that's what it makes me feel like and I think that's the most important thing. If you have an item in your makeup collection that makes you feel like that, that makes you feel like you look good, like you have a twist, you look beautiful, you look chic, that's the best type of makeup item that you can have in your collection because what makeup needs to do at the end of the day is make you feel special, feel good. There can be so many external factors attached to beauty items that can really become our favorites for various reasons. But anyway, this lipstick is also really beautiful. It's very matte as sometimes I cannot wear this. You know, I have to really nourish and moisturize my really, really dry lips for it. But Today is one of those days that I can actually wear this without any issues. So happy with it. The next Lisa Eldridge lipstick is the Luxuriously Lucent Lip Color and this is in the shade Kitten Mischief and this has been recommended to me by Lisa herself in the pop-up studio. The coloring of this just suits me so incredibly well. The undertones of it just does something to my face where it kind of lifts it, makes me look really awake and beautiful. This just has such a beautiful undertone to it. it this is pure magic in a bullet. I'm, I'm not kidding. This is just a magical product and you can see me applying it and talk more about it and the previous video I have on my channel. So really gorgeous product. And now we're moving into a lip category that kind of contains items that are really, really nourishing on the lips because so far none of these are really nourishing. I mean, the luxuriously lucent lip color from Lisa, it's kind of hydrating, but you know, if I have one of those days when my lips are just really, really dry, that's not doing the thing either. So I have two products now that I will show you that have been my favorite this year that really save my lips when they are in a really bad shape, which I mean, <laughs> it's quite often. The first one is the Afterglow Lip Balm from NARS. And this is such a beautiful packaging. One of the reasons this is my favorite is because I just love the packaging. I just think this is so beautiful. But this is the lip balm. You know, it's kind of pinkish and this can make my teeth look a tiny bit yellow. I don't mind it that much. Uh, this is something that you can wear on days that you don't have any makeup on or on days that, you know, you just want a bit of a tint on your lips. This is really nourishing. So I really love this. And then the next item is the Lisa Eldridge Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Affair. Although you'd think it is the same as the Kitten Mischief and Fawn, not at all. This has different undertones. This is more of a caramel shade. This lipstick is so nourishing on your lips. You can have the worst day for your lips. If you put this lip balm on over and over again throughout the day, this will save your lips. This is a lip treatment with color and this can be really high pigmented if you apply it thickly on your lips. So such a beautiful product. I love this and it's going to be my savior in winter. I'm planning to get, you know, more festive colors as well, like reds and things. Really beautiful lip gloss. Again, Lisa Eldridge. Love her. Beautiful, beautiful item. And then I guess this is not really a makeup item, but I've been loving this throughout the year, so I just wanted to show it to you. And this is the Lisa Eldridge makeup bag or makeup pouch and it's just so beautiful. Even the zipper, it has her monogram on and it's such a heavy weight, beautiful product. This is just so beautiful. I've been loving to use this when I need to carry makeup with me or I have to have cosmetics in my bag. I just love to use this. This is just such a beautiful bag. It fits enough of things. And I don't know, it just makes me smile. And it goes really well with my earrings. <laughs> Love that. I had some mascara under my eyes for some time now in this video, I think. Um, testing the new mascara and so far really don't like it. It's just going everywhere on my face. Now we are moving into hair care. I think there's a bit of a shift in the hair care as well, but this shift has been happening for more than a year now. So I would say it was a bit of a trend in 2020 as well, if you've watched my video, in terms that I started to use really high-end products on my hair. And I do have to say, I noticed a huge improvement since I did that, but... I don't want to say that affordable products cannot do that. Maybe I just didn't find the right ones. So, you know, a few honorable mentions would be the Olaplex number three and a few other bits and pieces, which please watch my 2020 beauty favorites video on my channel because otherwise this video is just going to... Um, <laughs> 
it's just going to be very very long in this video a new mention however is the Davines nourishing vegetarian miracle hair mask I've almost emptied this so I already have a replacement for this because this is just pure magic my hairstylist recommended this to me so it says it protects the hair from UVA I'm not sure lots of people know this but sun can damage your hair color and hair. So this hair mask is mostly targeting really dry and damaged hair and although my roots are pretty oily the length of my hair can be you know really dry and really damaged. I mean besides the fact that I color my hair I live in Scotland so you know besides the the, the, the changes in temperature, the extreme changes in humidity, you know some places in Scotland have like 90% humidity inside and then other places indoors have like 30% humidity so those changes is definitely going to make your hair not look the best as well as the severe wind, really, you know, really cold weather. And then, you know, we, I also style my hair. You know, I use the hair dryer quite a lot and I wear a lot of clothes. So scarves, jackets, jumpers, which I think cause a lot of friction on my hair and they definitely don't help it. So this mask has literally saved my hair. As again, together with the Olaplex and a few other items I've mentioned before, but this is just so nourishing and I mean I've been using this jar for almost a full year and I still have some left. That is because this is so nourishing and hydrating on your hair. I literally use just a tiny blob. I mean of course it depends on your hair as well. I don't have a lot of hair. The tiniest blob kind of spreads on my entire hair. I let it sit for a few minutes in the shower and then I rinse it. Of course, if you have thicker hair, you might use it up quicker. The other item that I've been absolutely loving this year, and you know how you can tell that something is really your favorite when you save it for special occasions. So I use the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask. Like when I film, I have something special going on. But otherwise, I just save it because it's an amazing item, but it's very expensive. So I got this in the Cult Hair Heroes box and I do have a video about that. So if you want to watch that video with more hair care items and whatnot, then it'll pop up just now. But this just makes your hair look like it's the most healthiest thickest, shiniest, voluminous and beautiful thing in the world. Honestly, this just makes my hair look so beautiful. I really love that it's not thick and greasy. I really don't like hair conditioners that do that. This one is just lightweight and it completely gets absorbed by the hair so you don't feel that greasy feel or you know like sometimes when you use really nourishing hair masks kind of leaves your hair a bit flat. This one doesn't do this. The next item is the Olaplex number six and again this was in the Cult Hair Heroes box from last year. This is a leave-in styling cream that that's supposed to reduce frizz, to nourish and protect. And every time I use this, I just have a really good hair day. So again, I kind of save this for special occasions. It has a really thick consistency. It really nourishes the hair. It really makes it smooth, shiny, beautiful. It gives it volume. It just makes it look so incredibly healthy. And that's the case of the Briogeo and the Davines hair mask as well. It just completely changes my hair. I just see a huge difference when I use this product. So this has a patented active ingredient that's supposed to relink broken disulfide bonds in your hair. So I presume that's why it just looks so healthy and smooth. And finally, is this wet brush that is just so practical so I don't know where to begin so first of all you can pop this in and this is what it looks like so I usually carry this in my bag especially with the Scottish weather clothes blah 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 my hair can get pretty tangled and looking a bit rough quite easily so I just carry this in my bag this brush is one of the best brushes I've ever had for my hair in terms that it doesn't pull it's so delicate on the scalp I've got pretty sensitive scalp it's really flexible it's delicate it detangles. This is amazing to use on the wet hair as well. And then on the handle, you've got a mirror, so a round mirror, which again, I just love carrying this around with me because I've got my hairbrush and I've got my mirror. You know, I can touch up my makeup, see if everything's a mess. At the same time, I can quickly comb my hair. It's pretty, it's compact and... I love it. Love, love, love it. This has been in the Cult Hair Heroes again, so lovely addition. Okay, and now we are moving into the body care section where I've got some really lovely recommendations. Affordable, more high-end, 
really beautiful things that I've been loving to use throughout the year. First is the Dove Pampering Shower Gel. This is a really affordable product. I just love the smell of it. So it smells of shea butter and vanilla and this is really nourishing and thick on your skin. I've used this around the holiday season in 2020, just going over 2021 and then I've tried to use this every time something nice has been happening in my life. So I associate it with beautiful memories, relaxing time. That's a really nice step by the way to try and associate positive experiences with certain scents that's certainly something that I love and I get to the point where even if I have a favorite perfume if something really bad has been happening recently I don't use it because then I associate the fragrance to that bad memory. Let me know if you're like this as well in the comments down below because I would love to know if someone else feels like this about scents. The next favorite shower gel for 2021 is this gorgeous molten brown bubble which I think is such a beautiful gift to give someone. I got it as a gift myself. This is in the fragrance rhubarb and rose and it just smells so incredibly beautiful because it smells of roses but it definitely doesn't smell of just like a classic rose fragrance but again I tried to use this when something beautiful has been happening or when I had to go somewhere that I've been really excited about and then the last shower product is this one from L'Occitane and is their almond shower oil. My skin can get really rough and dry. One because of the weather I'll say it again <laughs> and second because of the cold which I guess is the same but anyway <laughs> this is really nourishing on the skin so if you have really dry skin and you find that foaming shower gels are just a bit too irritating on your skin which sometimes can happen for me a shower oil can fix that so this smells absolutely incredible it smells of almond vanilla to me it's just such a sweet scent mm. and then my favorite cream scent for 2021 the Sarah Miller hand cream and this says it's with lemongrass jasmine and cedar wood and literally use this almost as a perfume you know if you apply it a bit of your neck and your hands but I generally cannot apply such fragrant creams upon my neck because it just gets a bit itchy as I've mentioned like in my face skincare such a beautiful product absolute favorite incredible and uh, very holiday appropriate and my other favorite hand cream in 2021 is this beautiful hand cream from Nala. I thought they were a Romanian artisan brand. Apparently they're also based in Netherlands. This just smells absolutely beautifully of uh, cinnamon again, vanilla, mm, orange is so beautiful. This is very nourishing but it has a really lightweight formula so this other one is pretty thick whereas this one is pretty lightweight on your hands and one of the reasons why it's one of my favorites is because it was a gift and it's attached to a beautiful holiday. It just means a lot to me. So this has olive oil, propolis, honey, orange oil and I just love to use this before bed. And lastly, the last mention is the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum. This is the most credible, elegant, sophisticated, but chic perfume. And this is so potent, so potent. This just lasts forever. Such a beautiful fragrance. I think I've mentioned this in my 2019 favorites uh, again. And I, I took a few notes of what they say about this perfume. So it says it's the essence of a bold, free woman. It has an oriental fragrance with a strong personality, yet surprisingly fresh. So that's what I meant, that it's sophisticated and very elegant, but it's also chic. This is quite on the verge in between an evening perfume and a daytime one. So this one says that it smells of jasmine, of rose, patchouli and vetiver. It's just such a unique fragrance. This is a tiny bit sweeter than the Chance perfume from Chanel and it's just a tiny bit more sweet and floral I guess. Just a tiny bit. I mean I'm probably horribly uh, bad at describing perfumes to be honest. Just a lovely perfume. Even the bottle is just so beautiful. 
We finally went through all my 2021 beauty favorites. I feel like I had so many items to talk about. Such a special video. It has been incredibly fun to film this. If you're still here, thank you so, so much. Um, make sure you give a thumbs up to the video so you let me know you've watched a bit chunk of it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so that you're notified about upcoming videos. I certainly have more exciting content coming up. Please let me know in the comments down below what your 2021 beauty favorites were even if you choose to just give me one example and i hope to see you soon in my next video bye